Hello everyone and welcome to Cricket World TV. I'm Jim White with me, John Penton again, looking at this yes. fascinating series between Australia and India in India. Now, two or before we went into this game, and in the end, a fascinating game and a brilliant, brilliant win by Australia to put them 3-2 up in the series. Uh, a vital game, but in fact, Australia really thought they were in charge from the start, John. Epic game, some wonderful display play of talent all, all through. You're absolutely right, Jim. They decided to bat the spike to handing a David to Clinton Mackay. There were 13 fit players reportedly, 350 for four. Nice batting track, but uh, that's a big score, whatever the track. Mar uh, Sean Marsh, brilliant unbeaten, uh, sorry, no, he's, he's made in century, I should say, for him. He made 112. Shane Watson, 93. And then Cameron White, 57. So they really were looking very good at the halfway stage. What I thought was great about this was that it, it, it sat so well, you know, Marsh and Watson are top of the order there, they scored over 200 runs between them and uh, Shane Watson really is looking to be the next, he, I think he's got this job for quite a while now. <laughs> well he's certainly on top of all, certainly our rankings and the MVP rankings, really is hitting the ball very well, those two centuries in the Champions Trophy semi-final, but I think really gave him the confidence to believe I can do this, I belong at this level and he's just He's just going from strength to strength. And as you said, superb batting track, and of course, Australia in the last 20 overs accelerated from a run of ball. I think it was up to 8 and over and 10 and over in the last 20 overs. Great acceleration. And uh, my name's eight, but obviously not me. Cameron White scoring 57 off 33 balls, as you mentioned, really took the game uh, to India. And I think set a target that probably, I, I think, you know, it was, it's worth about 270, 280 on, on another wicket, mm. but it was such a good track that we actually thought that India might, uh, might get up. Well, I suppose you could say Australia put that innings together exactly how you should construct a one day innings, go sort of six. Then, when the batting power play comes in eight, and then at the end, when you really have got license, especially as they did with wickets in hand, to just go for it. And you thought, well, if India get a good start, so you generally get a good start, it's just how long it lasts is, is the question. Then there wasn't really any reason why they couldn't do it. But they just fell short. 347 all out. Sachin Tendulkar, and innings, well, just words almost. Was failing. It was, it was that good. It was unbelievable innings of 175. Suresh Rain made 59. There were three wickets for Shane Watson and the debutant Clinton Mackay. But as soon as Tendulkar fell near the end, you could just sense that the game was slipping away. And so it proved Australia just by three runs. Well, very tight at the end there, I suppose. Credit on that track. Because credit must be given to uh, the bowlers. But I think what seemed to me was that Tendulkar, if he stayed there, they were going to win because he was in control, he was out a little paddle over the shoulder, which I think was, dis was deceptive because Mackay there, slow I think ball, the others yeah. that were the slow ball did well to get rid of him. But those that came in, a bit of lack of experience maybe, you know, on the big stage, a couple of run outs which was unnecessary. It, it was very sort of, you, it, it's always difficult isn't it, because you've got Tendog, he's so more experienced than everybody else, but it just looks worse because they came in and sort of flapped about a bit, run out, so Rob Rappi Jadeja was doing, I don't know, she just seemed <laughs> intent on getting himself run. I don't blame Pravin Kumar for the final run out, it's number, number 9 and number 11, you shouldn't be really relying on them to score your runs. I must say, I was particularly impressed with Clinton Mackay, but he bowled very, very well under pressure, slower balls, Yorkers didn't give a lot away, and uh, got the key wicket of Tendulkar. He did, he also, um, I don't think it was uh, uh, Cameron White, uh, she dropped one at a slip to give him, would have been two and two and an over, but a stunning catch by uh, Adam Voges to get rid of MS Dhoni, and that probably might have really given the Aussies a bit of a, a bit of a kick on, and maybe I think the Indian heads may have dropped them because with Dhoni out, what, there isn't too much left to uh, to really get them over the mark with, with a lot of confidence and experience. Absolutely, and again, the Indian middle order has, has flattered and deceived with the obviously Tendulkar's open. sayway has got a good start and not gone on. Gumbir, okay, he's first game back after injury, hasn't got many runs. Yuvraj fails again, Dhoni fails again, Jadeja, but he's got all the talent, he just doesn't seem to have the application. Once Tendulkar goes, it's just come back to the point you made earlier, they, are, they have got a bit of a problem. Well, I've just got some stats here, which, which really is, uh, it just reels and reels, as you will understand when you've scored 175. 17,000 one-day international career runs, 6,000 of those have been scored in India. On his own, this is of course. 45th... But he just needed three more. <laughs> I think he'd trade three of those against whoever for, for a winner. Absolutely, absolutely right. 45th hundred, uh, and the nearest of course is um, Ricky Ponting with 28. Just goes to show the gap, um, even, uh, you know, with, with the uh, his sort of uh, current players, if you like. <laughs> Um, ninth against Australia, which is more than anybody has ever scored against one country. I think that's the, the telling step for me. Ninth yeah. centuries against Australia, who during his time of playing have been, well, when he first started playing, very, very strong and from the 90s, the best. Okay, fastest versus Australia, and it's the fourth time I passed 150 in a one day game. 
It's it, exactly. It's really, what, what do you say? It's just, oh, I, I, <laughs> I think what we can say it is the little master. It's a wonderful show. It really was a superb innings, and I think anybody at the game, unfortunately, we weren't, but I would like to have been mm -hmm. there. Would have. Uh, have said that it really was one of the best things you'll ever see in one day cricket. Unfortunately on the losing side, 696 runs in the day, but it does give Australia a 3-2 lead, 3 to play. So India have now got it all to play for. 2 to play. 2 to play. India, oh, might, India might like 3 to play, but no, 2 to play in, uh, yeah, I've got that right, to Gujarati on the 8th and then Mumbai cricket back in Mumbai, that's going to be sort of symbolic after obviously the tragic events of last year. Looking forward to that one. So two games to go, it really is must win for India now. And uh, we look forward to uh, what will unravel in this absolutely brilliant series between India and Australia in India. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again on Cricket World.